Well, good morning, everybody. It is Easter morning, and I hope everybody is keeping well. Thank you once again to all the boys and girls from Billis School last week who helped me do the Holy Mystery Box. I'm on my own again, so I'll have to work hard today without all the interaction with all the boys and girls. Well, let's see what I've got for the mystery box today. We'll give it a little shake. Actually, it sounds as though there might be a couple of things inside this. So let's open this up. And I'm sitting out uh, in the back of the rectory where I live. And we've got this lovely little area where we can sit out in the morning time when the sun comes in. And it's nice sometimes to sit out and have breakfast or lunch or a cup of coffee here. So the first thing that I find inside is an Easter egg. I wonder how many of us got Easter eggs this morning. Probably some of us got loads of Easter eggs and by the time we watch this, we probably got chocolate all around our face because we've been eating Easter eggs all morning. For the first time in a long time, I actually managed to go all of Lent. I gave up some things. I gave up crisps. So I've managed to go all of Lent without eating crisps. I gave up mayonnaise, which sounds very strange, but I love mayonnaise on everything. So managed to give up mayonnaise and I gave up sweets and chocolate. So I wonder how you got on. Now this actually isn't my egg. It uh, belongs to Matthew and Laura, one of them. So they're gonna eat this later on, but I'm hoping there might be an Easter egg for me as well. So I'm looking forward to that. So, uh, well, I don't know whether that's really to do with the Euro sermon, that's just, for me to lick my lips that I might get to eat some chocolate later on after noon. But what I really bought for the Euro sermon today was a bag of jelly beans. So maybe if you see me later on, I'm gonna be full of chocolate and full of jelly beans. We'll see how we go. But uh, I've always loved jelly beans. They've been around for a long time. Do you like jelly beans? And uh, if you like jelly beans, you know that there are lots of different flavors and lots of different colors. Uh, I think sometimes you can even get jelly beans which are a bit like the Harry Potter ones that uh, taste all sorts of disgusting uh, flavors. But on this one it says that the white is coconut and the green is apple, the blue is blueberry and there's raspberry and grapefruit and peach and kiwi and passion fruit and strawberry and pineapple and blackberry and banana and pear and cherry and lemon and toffee and cola and strawberry cheesecake, that sounds nice, and mandarin and vanilla. I wonder which one would be your favorite color. Jelly beans. Well as ever as I buy something for the Euro sermon, it's not just to fill my tummy or to remind us about filling our tummies. It's to learn something about God and to learn something about our faith. And I came across a little poem that might help us use the jelly beans just to think about what the meaning of Easter is all about. Easter is a very special season in the Christian faith because it reminds us of the story of Jesus. Not only was he born as a little baby in Bethlehem, which we celebrated at Christmas time, but it reminds us that as he grows up that God sends him into the world to do something very difficult, but to show us how much God loves us. And we know that on Good Friday, he dies on the cross, and that we know that on the cross, he takes all our sins away so that we would know God's grace and love and forgiveness. And we were looking at that last week in our Euro sermon. But on Easter morning, we proclaim that Jesus isn't dead anymore. That actually, as the women go, his mum and some of her friends go to the tomb on the first Easter morning, they find that the stone is rolled away. And when they go in, they hear an angel talk to them. And he says, he's not here, he's risen, he's risen. And so the God that we talk about, even though we can't see him, we know that he's risen from the dead and that he is alive. And that is an incredible thing to know and to experience in our lives. But this little poem that I'm going to read to finish off our Euro sermon, which is uh, corresponding with the colors in the jelly beans is this. Red is for the blood that he gave. Green is for the grass that he made. Yellow is for the sun so bright. Orange is for the edge of night. Black is for the sins we made. But white is for, this, for the grace he gave. Purple is for his hour of sorrow. Pink is for a new tomorrow. 
and a handful of jelly beans, colorful and sweet, is a prayer, is a promise, is a loved one's treat. So maybe if you're eating some jelly beans today or having a sweet treat after all of Lent, that you might remember that at the very heart of Easter is a lovely story of God's love for each of us thrown, shown through the person of Jesus Christ. So have a good Easter day and we're going to join together in our song, which is a lovely song that reminds us that God's not dead. No, he is alive. God's not dead. No, he is alive. God's not dead. No, he is alive. He is alive in me. So let's join in this song together. <laughs>